Hi, Mark Shepard, 7th degree black belt in Shunru Karate. In this video, we're going to cover some more of the basics of karate, in this instance, blocking. Blocking is very effective and a useful technique in that if the person's attack never gets, you know, into your body, that's half the battle right there. So I look at blocks as kind of like a windshield wiper or an early warning uh, system that basically says, no, you're not going to get within 6 to 12 inches of my body. Because again, you hit the, hit, hit the body, yeah, they may hurt you, maybe they won't, but why take the risk if you can stop it in the first part? So, the first block we're going to cover is what's known as a basic up block. The up block basically covers area like this. The fist is down below the eye level and it basically covers some shoulder to shoulder. You don't have to go much wider in either case and typically you're going to be blocking with the outside part of the, the hand, the bone. So that if you hit somebody in their soft area, not only is it a block, but it could be a strike. So I'll do this like in a 7-3 stance. So if let's say I was coming in, I could block and you notice I come from the opposite shoulder out and I stop here. I go too much farther, I start to open up the rib cage and that gives more opportunity for the person. And frankly, I just want to stop here so that any tack goes sliding by my face or my body. And my elbow is in tight. You know, again, trying to protect the upper uh, rib cage area of the body. Again, blocking upward. It's basically called an up block. Now you can imagine you have a down block. A down block comes downward. So again, it would be coming from the opposite shoulder and starting just outside the knee so that any low attack, whether it be a kick or a low punch or whatever, will again slide on by your body. You don't have to go out wide because again, that's excess energy. You don't need to expend and it opens you up. So you just stop blocking right over the shoulder, other hand up for cover. And again, a down block can be done in a Zenkutsu, it could be done like I was doing there in a 7-3. You do these blocks in any sort of stance. Um, look at that video for more uh, information about stances. Next one is the rising block. A rising block is more for someone coming in, maybe trying to strike at you from above. So a rising block comes rising up. The fist is basically equal with the opposite side of the head. This, you're out, you know, a good four to six inches in front of you so that they can't hit your face. And you have your body, your arm somewhat on an angle so if they hit, they slide up. And you're rising up. You're coming from the midsection and rising up over your head. Again, this is for like an overhead strike. Um, it could be even, you know, you, you know, someone coming at you with a weapon or whatever and you're in jamming their arm. But you're rising up, thus the name of a rising block. The next particular block is something that's called a mid-level block. It's kind of like an up block, but it's in reverse. An up block comes from the inside to the outside. A mid-level block comes from the outside to the inside, coming across your body. Again, using the same part of your hand, the, you know, the, the bony area of the hand, but you're coming across. This could be someone coming in, you're blocking. I could be coming in jamming. From there, I could do back fists. I can do all sorts of things. So it's a mid-level block where I'm coming in. Sometimes you'll use this in a parrying motion for throws, which will be in another video at some point. But again, it's from the outside to the inside, just kind of the opposite of the, uh, the, the up block. So those are four of the basic blocking techniques of karate. Mastering those can give you a great benefit in any self-defense situation.